Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. This is actually based on another video I made previously about neural networks and how machines actually learn and how we've reached the stage where machines learn even better than we do and can do it much faster. This is actually a suggestion by a person by the name of Jacob Sternberg who messaged me this website on Facebook and it's actually absolutely awesome, you should take a look at it. Anyway, so let's do this and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And so this right here is a website called QuickDraw. I personally find it absolutely amazing. Hopefully you will as well. Uh, not exactly the usual type of stuff I will take a look at, but it's absolutely awesome and you gotta check it out. So here's how it works. It uses Google Advanced uh, Neural Network um, algorithm that I've talked about briefly in one of the previous videos and do check that, that video out because I actually give you a lot of software that you can uh, try this with but here's what this does it asks you to essentially teach and play with this neural network to um, teach it how to recognize your doodles basically your, your horrible drawings or my horrible drawings because I am the worst possible doodler ever and it will have under 20 seconds to guess them now at first when this just started as an experiment it was horrible it couldn't guess anything then after people played with it for many, 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 many days, it learned to do this really, really well. And we'll, you'll see how well it does this. So let's draw, let's try to play this. It's going to ask me to draw a clock in under 20 seconds. I'm awful. You will probably not be able to tell it's a clock. Uh, you'll be laughing at me, but this thing will recognize right away. So listen to this. I see circle or blueberry. Oh, I know it's clock. That, how is that a clock? It knows. It understands me better than anyone else. Draw an airplane. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ready for this? Boom. Win. I see diving board. No, oh, I know. It's airplane. Seriously? Isn't that awesome? And it, it doesn't even give me a chance to correct myself. It knows already it's an airplane. All right, eyeglasses. Okay, that one is easy. Come on. It's two circles that I can't really Oh, draw. I know. It's eyeglasses. Not even a second. It's insane. Draw a shoe. Ah, uh, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Boom. I see nose. That's or sock. A... No. Or power outlet. No. Oh, this is Or wine phone. bottle. No. Oh. I see telephone. No. Or key. No. Oh, here, I here. I see cell phone. It's not a cell phone. Or passport. <laughs> it's not or a passport. Crayon. Cr no. Or no. toilet. Here. Here's another one. I see one. pool. Oh, oh. Sorry. I couldn't guess it. <laughs> that was the first it failed with. I didn't expect the shoe would be so difficult to draw. I, I just cannot do this. I, I don't even have a pen. I'm actually drawing with my mouse. Okay, draw a map. So this one is kind of tricky. Like, how do you draw a map, right? All right, let's try this. Uh, I see uh, square. Tree. Or suitcase. Uh, mountain. Oh, I know. It's map. Seriously? Okay, sea turtle. Uh, oh, that, that one's easy. I can do that. Boom. I see circle. Boom, boom. Or peanut. Peanut. Or That's teapot. Right. No. Oh, I know. It's, it's turtle. sea turtle. Isn't that awesome? It's absolutely brilliant. So I've been playing around with this for like literally hours. It's super, super fun. It gives you different questions every time and you kind of, let's do this again. You kind of get to enjoy different um, interpretations and different drawings, different doodles. Uh, so let's do this again. House. I see easy. square. No, you don't. Oh, I know. It's house. It's house. Okay, cake. Okay, let's see how fast it guesses everything. I'm going to try to do a better job. I see time. keyboard. Or radio. No, it's not radio. Or birthday cake. Oh, close. Or blackberry. No, just, just, you were so close. Oh, I know. It's cake. Okay, there we go. Um, pizza. Oh, so much food. So much food. I see circle. Or blueberry. No, not Or blueberry. cookie. No. Oh, I know. It's, it's pizza. pizza. This is absolutely incredible. Ear. All right. Uh, boo. Oh, I know. It's ear. How is that? I, I would not be able to win in, uh, in picture against this machine. A washing machine. All right. So here we go. Uh, one, I see square. Two, three. Or cooler. Oh, Guessed I know. It. It's washing machine. Postcard. All right. Uh, this is kind of tricky. I see well, square. Uh, or suitcase. Uh, and then oh, I know. It's postcard. I didn't know it was a postcard, but this is absolutely brilliant. So this is a neural network. Um, if you want to learn more about this actual concept, check out the other video I made previously, where I kind of explain how all of this is done. It's actually basically pure math. It's uh, It does this over and over through trial and error, and it uh, acquires these points. And the more points it acquires, uh, the more it understands that this is what it should be doing. But the cool thing about this particular website is that 
not this at all. This is actually just about the game and who made it. It's this button right here. You can actually discover so many more of these experiments. Uh, well, okay, there's like eight, I guess. Or you can submit your own if you've made one. But this is all basically meant to promote the idea of neural networks and AI that learns uh, by understanding things. So uh, this one here... I don't know what this is. Giorgio Cam. I want to check this out. This is what we just did. This one is called Infinite Drum Machine. Also sounds very interesting. Uh, this is a thing translator. This is actually how Google Translate translates things automatically when you point the camera at it. Uh, this one uh, recognizes bird sounds somehow. Uh, this is some sort of a music thing, I guess. This is specifically for a visualization of high dimensional space. Sounds really complex. And this one is what neural networks can actually see. But I really want to try this. I want to see what this is all about. Uh, so let's launch the experiment. Oh, and, and it needs to use my camera. Okay, I don't think I'll be able to do this because my camera is currently filming me. Uh, so I'm going to have to say no to it. But it sounds pretty interesting. So I think it said that you can make music using your camera. So instead, let's actually try this. Let's try to launch the infinite drum and see what this is all about. Create beats using sounds from everyday world. That's awesome. All right. What's this? Oh, boy. So this is not as much a neural network, I think, as it is um, uh, some kind of a mixer, basically. So you have everyday life uh, sounds that you can then mix to create a tune. That is not very good, apparently. That's not a very good tune, but I guess you can kind of... Oh, you can randomize things here. And what's this? This is sound. And here you can also choose which uh, specific tools you want to use. So let's just go for, like, human noises. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Bad. So that's a pretty cool tool. Um, not as much uh, a neural network though, but I'm guessing there is some kind of a neural network going on in there where it actually detects these uh, sounds and uh, makes them into musical instruments afterwards. Uh, you can actually read more about this. I don't. I haven't read this yet. I don't really know what this is all about. But you can read more about this by clicking um, this here and discovering more about the project and playing the video. But this is actually absolutely awesome. I really like the idea of having all of these other experiments here that will probably increase in numbers as we go along. And essentially all of this uh, is to promote uh, AI learning and also to teach new generation of programmers to get interested in all of this stuff. There's quite a lot of things to explore here, a lot of really cool videos to watch. So do check out the, uh, the website here. And thank you so much, Jacob, uh, once again for submitting this link. Absolutely awesome find. I really love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you appreciated this video, and I hope you learned something from it. Share this video if you actually think someone else might learn something from it, and subscribe if you still haven't. And maybe consider supporting this channel on Patreon if you want to spare a buck or two. I'll see you in the next video. Game you later, guys. And as always, bye-bye.